But first for you this morning, a debt ceiling deal between the White House and Congress. The bill would raise the debt ceiling and avoid a potential catastrophic default. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington. And Bree, what do we know about this last minute agreement? Good morning, Isabel. Well, the bipartisan deal, which still needs congressional approval, includes a two year extension of the debt limit. After weeks of slow progress, a breakthrough on debt ceiling negotiations, the White House and Republicans reached a bipartisan deal over the weekend. The agreement prevents the worst possible crisis, a default. The agreement extends the government's current debt limit for two years in exchange for spending cuts. There are no changes to Medicaid, but there will be work requirements for certain people on food stamp programs, a major sticking point during talks. It's not 100 percent what everybody wants, but when you look, the country is going to be stronger. This is going to be transformational. Members from both parties are praising the last minute deal to avoid a government default. Overwhelmingly, Republicans in this conference are going to support the deal. How could they not? It is a fantastic deal. But other Republicans and some progressives raise concerns. You know, I'm not a big fan of in principle or frameworks. That's always, uh, you know, a problem if you can't see the exact legislative text. President Biden says the budget deal is good news for Americans. I strongly urge both both chambers to pass that agreement. Lawmakers must act fast, but we'll have a little more breathing room. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that the default deadline is extended to June 5th. And the House is expected to vote on the debt ceiling bill on Wednesday. Isabel? Well, Bree, the president and speaker have to sell this to their constituents, we know. But if it does pass in the House, what's next? So after the House, we'll then move on to the Senate, and that's where Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, uh, he's sent a letter to Democrats letting them know uh, that we could expect a vote in the Senate on Friday or possibly even over the weekend. So just giving them a warning that they may have to stay uh, through the next weekend or this upcoming weekend to get this deal done. All right. I'm sure you'll be on top of it for us. Thank you so much, Bree.